No lo puedo hacer. special hat on today. Now you say, what's so special about this hat? Well, you see, you got the cat on there. It's my tourist hat. Of course, you know, some friends came down from the States one time and they wanted to, it was, you know, I was in Cape Town, they wanted to take that garden route thing. And then at one part of the route, there's a, outside, I guess it's nice, and there's a, there's a, like a, a bird sanctuary and a monkey house and a cat sanctuary where they rescue the African cats. Mm -hmm. Now, see, now, now, there's, like, there's a picture someplace of me petting one of these like cheetahs. Now that's unusual because me, my relationship with animals, like animals, they, they're cool. I'm here, I'm cool. We're going to be cool wherever we are, but we don't mix the coolness, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. now, now, but let me tell you something. I had a cat once when I was living on the upper lower east side in, in, in Manhattan, New York. And uh, the cat, his name was Mally, named after, now cat kisses, named after Malcolm X, M-A-L, and Bob Marley, L-A-Y. Now I should have known, wait a minute, it was a beautiful cat, it's an Abyssinian cat. It's a beautiful cat from, I guess they say it's from Egypt or something like that. And it's, it's a beautiful coat, man. But the nice thing about the cat, it don't make no noise. Oh. See, I'm the one to be making a lot of noise and talking, but the cat, you know, he don't do that, that, that Siamese cat, and no, he don't do that kind of stuff. That, that cat was a cool cat, but actually I shouldn't say it was a cool cat because it was what we call an attack cat. In fact, I had a sign, beware attack cat. Because, you know, people come, people come and say, oh, such a beautiful cat, and Mally would just rip them up. Mm. Now, me and Mally had understanding when I came in, you know, partner, you know, just me and him. I, you know, I sit down chill, and then the cat would just come to me when he wanted to, lay down, and purr, he'd start purring, you know, real quiet, like purring, and, I'm doing that. and it was cool. Now, unfortunately, the, I went away, when I, it's a long story, but uh, when I came back, I wasn't there, and, and my sister, well, it doesn't matter, but the cat passed away, mm -hmm. you know. Now, I should say this, in the, in the apartment, now, when you have a cat, the cat owns the apartment, you, you just, you, you don't want this taking up residency in the cat's apartment. So I had a special loft that built with this with this ladder that I would pull up at night so the cat wouldn't come in because I don't like sleeping with no animals, you know what I'm saying? And then every once in a while the cat be up there and I just take him and throw him down. You know when I say throw him down, you just we get throw him down. And he always land on his feet, you know. Well and the cat, let me tell you something, if you don't believe in like let me boom. look I read a lot of scripture and text and stuff like that, you know, the Holy Quran, the Holy Bible, you know, the, the, the Bhagavad Gita, you know, and, and, and uh, so I believe in certain things, you know. Well, when I can't die, I'm going to tell you, I was in the bed, and I would call a nightmare, I had something, because I felt four paws on me, picked me up, and threw me down, and I was down, I was thrown off my bed. I'm serious, nobody but pow. I'm telling you, it happened. Mm. Now when you have things like that happen, you start well, you start believing. Mm. <laughs> start believing for good. But but anyway, just just a, what I'm trying to say is that um, I do my mornings, I do my uh, my exercise, my prayer and meditation, you know. And how it starts is I I, I get up push the kettle on, tea to heat up, I lay my, my mat laid out, you know, I have a blue mat and then I have a, a white, big white towel over it and then I, and I'm wearing a white robe and I have a little blue towel over it, a little tiny blue towel thing and I do my little exercise and then maybe the kettle will go off and so I, I get up after exercise, I, 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 I pour my tea, no sugar, no honey, no nothing like that, just no bitter tea. Then I go back, I continue to exercise, and then I get into my prayer position. Now I have to, I'm facing east. I'm, I'm, I have to stand where I think that the sun comes up and it should hit your chakras, you know. Well, it's not up yet because I'm up at like, you know, I'm somewhere, somewhere between, three, between 3 and, and 4.59, you know, a.m. is the time I, I, I wake up. And when you think about 4.59, you know, 5 and 4 is 9, 9, 9 is 18, 8 is, eight, nine is a complete number. That's also a sacred number in some texts, like seven to six, but I don't want to get into all that. But the point is, 
I get my prayer position, which is it's like a, a it's almost like a fetal position, but it's not on the side. It's like a you know it's, it's a position, and it's it's really to acknowledge uh, uh, my uh, what I call a Yoruba. I get in a Yoruba position, you know, because I'm a, I'm a child of a goon in a real Yoruba religion, and in in uh, in, uh, in uh, the Chinese astrology, I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a I'm a tiger, which is why, you know, a metal tiger, which is why I'm 3 to 5 a.m. is my time. I'm, I'm good at that time. So I do my prayer, and, I, and when I pray, I pray different. Now, a lot of people pray in their language because they figure they're petitioning God. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, nothing against that, nothing against that. You can petition all you want. But my thing is like, you know, when I was a big baby, when I was born, I came out of my mama's womb. The first sound I made, I mean, the doctor was there, they didn't know what I was talking about. My mom was there, she didn't know what I was talking about. I had to tell my grandmother was there, she didn't know what I was talking about. But I made this sound, you know, you know, forcing it with the universe know what I was talking about. You see, that sound, me and the universe was announcing my, my thing to the universe, my, my presence. So when I, do, when I do my prayer in the morning, I actually, I guess they say, I guess the Pentecostals or something like that, you know, the Christians be saying, I talk in tongues. Well, because I'm making sounds. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going, and then I stop and I finish. I, you know, it up, and then that's it. So I figure I'm talking. I'm talking to the universe, and, and I'm not. I don't know what's happening. But here's the thing. The reason why I say I was brought up Catholic, by the way. But the reason why I do this is because, uh, uh, you know, like I guess I brought up Christian. And then the Muslims, they pray five times a, a, a day, you know. And the Catholics, if you really look at it, if you have, you have your morning prayer, you have your before you go to bed, but if you have three meals a day, you, you, you basically graze the meals and you pray, you're praying five times a day. I figure it's about God consciousness. So I'm more of like a, a Bob Marley kind of guy, which is like give thanks and praises. So when I do my morning prayer, that's it. But all through the day when good things happen, I just, I say, well, thank God, praise the Lofi. Because now it's my Christian thing and my, and my West African thing. The Lofi is the, well, it's, it's, it's the, out of the, the Europe. Pantheon. But my point is, all day long I'm going, thank God, praise the Lord. So what I'm trying to say is that all day long I have a God consciousness and I'm just thanking God, you know, thanking the universe, I'm thanking and praising the Lofi for stuff that, that happens. And I'm thinking the universe saying, hey, that cat, you know, what he doing? Because what he do, he, you know, he thanks me, praises me. God, that's what, that's all the universe wants. Man, but that's that's you know, that's just because I've been a lot of places and did a lot of things here down there in the desert in, 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 in Mexico. All I'm trying to say is you, you come to your own spirituality the way you want to come. And that's that, that's what I do. And but that's because I'm an audio dramatist. And I take these things to heart. And by the way, this is one of those dispatches from the audio dramas. That's the a dispatch from, from the from the arts director emeritus, uh, that would be me, a T. From the patch, from the Patterson, that's Patterson Projects in the South Bronx, Mount Haven section. Taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.